Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, It really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, formulations, ingredients, skin health questions, if you've got comments or success stories you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products, your advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please head to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. We've got blog, story, uh, blog posts, news stories, videos up on all our websites, and you can purchase the Longevity products off the websites as well. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team off of our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call the phone team at 866 866- for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business, enjoy tax benefits, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you are nutritionally minded yourself, if nutritional supplements have helped you or a loved one and you want to help spread the word, the longevity business is designed specially for you. We make it very easy to move the longevity products as well as to make money. And if you're an entrepreneur and you like making your own hours and Working out of the home, making as much or as little money as you like, 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. Love to have you aboard, 866-735-2470, or you can sign up off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, surfactants, oil, silicon, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. Just 100% active and functional ingredients in our Truth Skin Health products. If you're dealing with blemished skin or hyperpigmentation, dark spots, if you want smoother, softer skin, If you want anti-aging skin, anti-aged skin, you want to check out our True Skin Health products, especially our True Serum, which was voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar magazine. Check out the May edition of Harper's Bazaar magazine, and you'll see our True Serum featured. All right. Welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. Thanks for joining us. We're talking glutamate, excitotoxicity, excitotoxins. Last program, we said the brain loves glutamate. It makes the brain and us, those of us who have brains anyway, compulsively seek this stuff. And it turns out that addictions, addictive drugs, many times have their basis in glutamate addiction, addictive behaviors too. Obsessive, uh, obsessive compulsive disorders, for example, are related to brain glutamate. If you've ever noticed that you're uh, addicted to something you're addicted to, smoking or alcohol or pain pills, somehow loses its ability to cause pleasure, but you're still addicted and you still need to have the stuff. You go crazy without it. The chances are that you're hooked on glutamate. According to the National Institute of Drug Abuse, scientists have found that as occasional drug abuse evolves into addiction and compulsion supplants pleasure, 
has the primary motive for drug use, glutamate becomes the neurotransmitter most closely tied to drug seeking. In other words, first we, we find our addictive substance pleasurable, but then we're just compulsed and we don't even get pleasure from it. You can thank glutamate for that. And this is why sneaking glutamate into food is such a dirty trick. How dare food companies do this sneaky, dirty, nasty business of making us addicted to their potato chips and, and, and processed foods and canned foods and just to keep us addicted, to keep us uh, eating and buying. Nasty, nasty business. Basically turns food into cocaine, at least in terms of its addictive qualities. As it is, we human beings are food-seeking machines for eons. There wasn't very much food, so we evolved to be food-seeking animals. We just can't stop looking for food and eating food. You ever watch those those uh, nature programs on TV where you where they show animals and they they show you how animals lives animals live wolves and lions and tigers and cheetahs and and birds. They're constantly seeking for food. They're constantly looking for food. Their entire life is spent looking for food because it's hard to find food. Well, we human beings have created a completely different problem over the last 100 years, 200 years, 500 years, especially over the last 50 or 60 years. We don't have too little food. We got too much food. It's everywhere. But we still have the same food-seeking behavior. Not only is food everywhere, but it's spiked to make us addicted. So not only do we have food-seeking behavior that's evolved into us that we've developed over the course of millennia, but now the food is made, is made especially addictive by spiking it with things like MSG and glutamates. So in addition to having to deal with our built-in drive to constantly ingest calories, we've created a world that's filled with calories. And now we have to confront addictive chemicals that are artificially stuck into those calories to make it absolutely positively sure that we never stop eating. MSG, monosodium glutamate, imitates the action of natural brain glutamate, which acts to, as an excitatory neurotransmitter. That means it makes us do things. It initiates action. These chemicals that we call neurotransmitters, that's nerve transmitters or nerve chemicals, come in two basic forms, excitatory and inhibitory, and they're supposed to be in a balance. Excitatory neurotransmitters make us do things. Inhibitory neurotransmitters make us not do things or promote not doing things, I should say. The most important of these neurotransmitters, these brain chemicals that stimulate activity or stimulate rest, are actually amino acids. They're little pieces of proteins, little chunks of proteins. Amino acids are found in foods. And there's about 20 or so amino acids, 20 to 22, depending on who you ask. Nine or 10 of them are essential, depending on who you ask, how many there are. Nine or 10, roughly. Glutamate is an amino acid. Glycine is an amino acid. Aspartate is an amino acid. And these three are your main neurotransmitters. They're amino acid neurotransmitters. Glutamate, glycine, and aspartate. Glutamate is your main excitatory I'm sorry, it's your main excitatory uh, uh, amino acid, neurotransmitter, aspartate, which is from, uh, found in aspartame or NutraSweet, is another excitatory neurotransmitter, and glycine, which is the simplest, the tiniest of all the amino acids, and absolutely fascinating, by the way, is an inhibitory, relaxing neurotransmitter. One of the best sources of glycine, by the way, is bone soup and cartilage-containing products, which makes bone soup and cartilage-containing products inhibitory balancing out uh, they, it makes them uh, helps them balance out uh, excitotoxins glutamate by, is by far the most important of all the neurotransmitters and and under ordinary circumstances it's going to be balanced by glycine as well as gaba gaba is another inhibitory neurotransmitters aspartate as i say is also an excitatory neurotransmitter and while glutamate which is the most abundant of all the neurotransmitters gets all the negative press or much of the negative press when it comes to excitotoxins aspartate According to the book, Aspartate Disease, The Hidden Epidemic by Dr. H.J. Roberts, can also be a big problem. Aspartate and aspartic acid, which are basically the same thing, is ingested largely in the form of the chemical NutraSweet. And this accounts for many of the health challenges that are linked to this also nasty food additive. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. We are back on. 
on the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We have lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today or formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about or read about, or if you have a comment or success story, or if you'd like to talk about our true skin health products or skin formulations or skin ingredients, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of our true skin health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. We've got blog posts up as well as all our five True Skin Health products, Truth Blemish Repair Complex, if you're dealing with acne blemishes or liver health issues. I included lots of liver, uh, liver nutrients in our, truth, in our uh, Blemish Repair Complex. That's because a lot of acne is caused by issues with the liver and issues with the digestive system as all skin issues are related to the digestive tract. If I've learned anything from being in the skincare business for 30 plus years, it's that almost all skin health issues with a few exceptions for topical issues are related to the digestive tract. If you're dealing with psoriasis or eczema or acne or any kind of uh, rosacea or any kind of skin health problems, focus on digestive health. As always, focus on digestive health no matter what you're dealing with. That's, that's a main principle of what I call the bright side philosophy is that the digestive system is primal. The digestive system is the core of everything. This is why sneaking nasty chemicals into food is such a dirty pool, such a nasty business. We're talking about MSG and aspartame. According to the book, Aspartate Disease, The Hidden Epidemic by Dr. H.J. Roberts. Aspartate is a big problem and an underappreciated problem. Most aspartate gets into our system via NutraSweet. And ingest uh, excessive ingestion of NutraSweet is linked to headaches, dizziness, balance problems, vomiting, nausea, abdominal pain, abdominal cramps, memory loss, a whole slew of health problems, bipolar disorder, manic depression, mood swings, paranoia. Aspartame is also a carcinogen. It can trigger male sexual dysfunction, birth defects. It's no, it's no coincidence that Monsanto uh, is responsible for the uh, production. Is, uh, I'm sorry, Searle is uh, a drug company. Searle is produ uh, responsible for the production of this nasty, uh, nasty chemical. It's found in all kinds of foods. Aspartame uh, exposure can mimic and, and precipitate uh, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, epilepsy. According to Dr. Roberts, every doctor encounters aspartame disease in their practice and doesn't know it. I think it's important to recognize that uh, uh, it's not the amino acids themselves that are the problem. It's not the amino acids when they're found in foods. In foods, amino acids are obviously important. You can't make protein without amino acids. It's when they're stuck into foods as additives. That's where you run into a problem. In nature, amino acids are always, always balanced with each other. This is the problem with processed foods. It throws off the balance of components that are found in natural foods. It's not the amino acids. I get people asking, why is there aspartic acid Isn't it in your supplement? Or is aspartic acid a problem? Or aspartate a problem in foods? I've got to stay away from glutamates or glutamines because they get converted into glutamates. No, it's only when they're stuck into foods as additives. That's where you run into a problem. That's when they basically become drugs. Aspartate added, to, added in the form of aspartame or NutraSweet to your Coca-Cola or your, your diet soft drink or glutamate added to your Campbell's soup or whatever you're eating it as is basically a drug. It turns a food into a drug. It makes, it makes the components or the ingredients of that food into drugs. When you eat these things free form, free form amino acids that are tossed into foods become, make, those, make those foods into pharmacological agents. They're divorced, they're separated from other aminos and nutrients that you'll find in, in, in natural foods. Amino acids are important when they're found in foods, naturally, and sometimes in supplements as well. But when those amino acids are stuck into foods as brain chemicals or, or to function as brain chemicals, that's where we run into problems. And by the way, there's also a very important relationship between leaky gut and gluten intolerance and excitotoxicity. The intestine functions as a wall or as a barrier between what we eat and the blood. And leaky gut syndrome, also known as intestinal permeability syndrome, represents all of the health challenges that are linked to defects or holes in that barrier. That's what it means to have a leaky gut. You've got a holes in this barrier. Well, guess what? As it turns out, the brain has its own version of leaky gut syndrome. 
the brain has its own version of a wall between itself and the blood. The intestine has a, is a wall between, its, between the, the general circulation and food that we eat, and the brain has its own version of a wall between the blood and the brain. It's actually called the blood-brain barrier. The blood-brain barrier is like a wall between the blood circulation and the brain. And the same gluten intolerance that takes place in the intestine and that leads to a compromised gut lining and the entrance of food into the general circulation into the blood, that same problem, that same leakiness can occur in the blood-brain barrier. You can have a leaky brain syndrome. Just like, leaky, just like particles can leak into the blood through the intestine when the intestine breaks down, particles can leak into the brain when the blood-brain barrier breaks down. You can think of it as leaky brain syndrome, which is the brain's version of leaky gut syndrome. And it can happen in the same way that it happens in the intestine in response to gluten. As has been described before on this program and many times on other programs, gluten is a food protein. Gluten is found in grains. It exerts its anti-health benefits by damaging the intestinal lining, allowing food particles into the bloodstream. And this initiates an inflammatory defensive response in the blood which results in microscopic, tiny little blobs of material that enter into uh, the bloodstream or that are, are, are reactive byproducts of stuff that enters into the bloodstream. These, these reactive byproducts are called CICs. CICs are literally food and immune cells floating around in the blood. So you, you eat a food, it goes into the blood inappropriately. This is when you have leaky gut. You eat a food, it goes into the bloodstream inappropriately. The body initiates and the blood initiates a defensive response. That defensive response basically surrounds that food particle. And now you've got these food particles and um, uh, defensive cells, immune cells, floating around in the blood. They're called CICs, circulating immune complexes. And these CICs are literally the cause of many disease, uh, many health challenges, many diseases, especially autoimmune diseases. CICs, again, are, are complexes made up of food particles that leak into the blood and the body's immune cells. And this can not only result in, in inflammation and immune problems and autoimmunity, it also relates in sluggish, dirty blood. This is where dirty blood comes from. As I've always said, all diseases sell disease, and all cell disease is preceded by dirty blood. And one of the major sources of dirty blood is these CICs that enter, in, uh, enter into the blood, uh, bloodstream through a leaky gut. This blood sluggishness, this sticky blood, can not only cause nutrient uh, defects in nutrient or deficiencies in nutrient delivery, deficiencies in oxygen, oxygen delivery. It can also lead to heart problems, high blood pressure, heart disease. Eventually, these CICs can wind up in various tissues of the body. They get deposited. They get deposited in the skin. They get deposited in the thyroid. They get deposited in the various glands, the, the, uh, the pancreas. They get deposited in the intestine itself. They get deposited in various soft tissues of the body, in the kidneys. What ends up happening then is then, because these CICs look foreign to the body, that organ that the CICs have deposited in becomes subject to immune attack. The body will then attack the thyroid because these CICs are resting in it. And that's where you get your autoimmune disease from. Take home message is it starts in the gut. It starts in the leaky gut. It starts in the broken down intestine. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll return right after this. We're back on the bright side. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24 7 on the archive pages, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up, benfuchsarchives.com. Very cool website. Has, uh, it's a compilation of all my various websites. Got videos up. We have videos up and in, in blog story, uh, blog posts and news stories at all our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And you can purchase Longevity products or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites as well. You can also call 866 735 2470. If you want to sign up and join the Brightside Ben team, join me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. I have per personally witnessed the most amazing recoveries, the most amazing reversals from chronic diseases, people getting off all their drugs, people losing pounds, uh, uh, people losing weight. I've talked to a gal 
I meant to tell you the guy says, I talked to a gal a month ago. She lost 300 pounds on the Longevity products. 300 pounds. I'm going to get her on the, I'm going to get her on the program. She was almost 500 pounds, and now she's around 200 pounds. Uh, I've talked to her myself. I've seen this so many times. This is the power of nutritional supplementation. It is without a doubt the single most important thing that you could do from a uh, intake perspective when it comes to reversing chronic degenerative disease. Now, certainly mental, emotional, and spiritual strategies are important. Certainly exercise is important and also reducing caloric intake and, uh, and intermittent fasting. There's wonderful strategies to reverse chronic diseases. It's not a medical issue, as I've said many times. There's all kinds of strategies we can use to reverse chronic degenerative diseases, but none is more important than getting on a good nutritional supplement program, a well-rounded nutritional supplement program. No matter what your health challenge is, and this, Longevity makes it so easy to do. That's what the Healthy Start Pack is all about. That's what the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients are all about. We make it easy to incorporate nutritional supplementation into your life. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com to learn more. And if you want to help spread the word yourself about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, Please sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or by calling the phone team at 866-735-2470. All right, our number today, we do have lines open, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, the longevity products, the longevity business, or success story, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. From the Lancet, diabetes and endocrinology, an inexpensive first-line treatment for type 2 diabetes may also reduce heart disease in those with type 1 diabetes. In other words, an inexpensive, a cheap first-line treatment that they use for folks who have type 2 diabetes may also help folks who have type 1 diabetes, may also help reduce heart disease. What is that first-line treatment? Well, it's the drug metformin. How do you like that? It turns out that metformin is also now being explored to reduce heart disease. We've known now for a couple of years anyway that uh, metformin may have anti-aging properties. What is it that's so special about metformin? Why is it just such a popular drug? Why? Well, it lowers blood sugar. It lowers the production of sugar out of the liver. It improves glucose tolerance. It basically just reduces the impact of glucose on the body. It reduces the impact of sugar on the body. But you don't need a drug to do that. There's only two reasons why our blood sugar goes up. And this is, this is amazing to me that we have diabetes as the third leading cause of death in this country, although I consider it to be the first leading cause of death in this country if you factor in cancer and heart disease. So we'll say is diabetes is the leading cause of death. It's certainly the leading cause of misery because of metabolic syndrome, which is associated with diabetes. Metabolic syndrome is a whole bunch of things that can go wrong in the body, including heart problems and blood pressure problems and kidney problems and, and brain problems and weight problems. All the misery that's associated with elevated blood sugar is so tragic to me. And the fact that we go to doctors to deal with it, it blows me away. There's only two reasons why our blood sugar gets messed up, food and stress, period. This is our triangle of disease. Redescribed, the triangle of disease, the three points of disease, the three points of bodily breakdown that lead to all chronic disease or the digestive system, the blood sugar system, and the stress system. Well, guess what? The blood sugar system is dependent on what we eat and how we stress. That's it. It's not a drug issue. It's not a medical issue. And when we finally figure this thing out, there will be no more need for medical intervention and diabetes drugs. We control what we eat, and we reduce the, uh, we lower cortisol levels. Now, controlling what you eat, obviously, you know, you just control what you eat. I'm not saying it's easy, but it can be done. And, of course, nutritional supplementation can go a long way, not only towards helping us stabilize our blood sugar, but also helping us control what we eat. The more, uh, the more strategic your supplementation program is, the less you're going to need caloric intake. This is why people lose weight when they get on a nutritional supplement program. So if you're on metformin, if you find yourself with a, a, a blood sugar that is, just seems to be out of control and you can't do anything about it, and if you've tried to use food to control your blood sugar and you still can't control your blood sugar, you can blame stress and you can blame cortisol. When I say stress, I don't mean just emotional stress. The stress of inflammation can also cause problems. The stress of carrying excess body fat can do it. Do you know body fat secretes inflammatory chemicals? 
body fat itself will increase cortisol levels, just carrying the body fat. So it doesn't have to be emotional stress and psychological stress. There are physiologic factors that will upregulate cortisol and cause blood sugar problems as well. But the point I'm making is there's only two reasons why blood sugar gets messed up. What we're eating and our cortisol levels, period. And there's no need for a doctor to control either of those, and there's certainly no need for a toxic prescription drug. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Minnesota and say good morning to Kathy. How you doing, Kathy? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, good. Thanks, Ben. Thank you for calling. I What's have, going on? Yeah, I have a quick question. I am a breastfeeding mom, and okay. I am trying to get pregnant. Okay. And I'm wondering if the Beyond Tangy Tangerine can be a substitute for a prenatal or if I should be no. taking a three-a-day prenatal on top of it. Well, I would take it on top of it. The, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is not a substitute for prenatal. And, and by the way, prenatal doesn't have everything you need. And, and what it does have doesn't necessarily have the, the amounts that you need. So I like to think of a prenatal as the basic minimum wage. So you definitely want to stay on your prenatal, but you're not, probably not going to get enough iodine. And iodine is incredibly important for developing fetuses. You're probably not getting any omega fatty acids in your prenatal. I doubt that you're getting omega-3. So make sure you're using your omega-3 fatty acids. I'm not sure how much zinc is in your prenatal vitamins. That's also incredibly important for the baby. So you want to be making sure that you supplement with that as well. So I'd be using the prenatal. I would be using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine throughout the day. And then I would uh, be throwing in omega-3 fatty acids, your ultimate EFAs, as well as a good iodine supplement. I like I owe raw, and then also uh, zinc, 50 milligrams a day. Zinc picolinate is the best form of zinc, although there's another form that's good, too, called zinc monomethionine. Does that answer your question, ma'am? Yes, it does. One, one more thing that's very important for pregnant moms. Make sure you're paying attention to your sugar intake, reducing it as much as possible. And the best way to reduce your sugar intake for pregnant moms is to make sure you're getting enough protein. In fact, for anybody who's thinking about reducing their sugar intake, making sure you're getting enough protein is a great strategy. Although, keep in mind, protein does get turned into sugar if you're not using it. So you got to be a little bit careful with protein. But for pregnant moms, you're building a baby. You're definitely using your protein. So up, uh, increase your protein intake. Reduce your sugar intake. Stay on the prenatals and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Throw in some iodine, zinc, and omega-3 fatty acids. Thanks for your call, Kathy. Hope we helped you out. God bless and good luck. Congratulations on your, on your uh, second baby. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got a couple lines open for you. Let's go to Texas and say good morning to Melba. How you doing, Melba? Welcome to The Bright Side. Yes, good morning, Ben. We were talking last week, and we did run out of time. We were talking about my varicose veins okay. and a venous ulcer on my left ankle. It's just been weeks, and it still will oh, not heal. So the terrible. big question I wanted to ask you, you know, um, I need to go see the vein specialist at the referral. I've been putting it off, but would you agree to have the vein surgery where they reroute the vein circulation? No. Unless you're absolutely miserable, unless it's terribly painful or something, I wouldn't. I, there's no, I don't like surgical procedures unless they're emergencies. Now, if it's totally, if you're in agony, and and by the way, ulcers can be totally miserable, yeah. uh, and they happen near the ankles, typically near the bottom of your body. What you're dealing with, uh, Melba, is a breakdown in your connective tissue. The valves start to break down. The veins start to break down. Uh, the blood, when the blood becomes sluggish, it doesn't move as well. So you're dealing with a, a circulatory issue. And while they can mechanically change things around by rerouting things and having surgical procedures, you still have the same circulatory problem. This is the problem with medicine, is you're going to be led to believe that you're fine when you get out of the surgical, out of your surgery, but you're not. You still have the same problem. You haven't done anything for that problem. And what are you going to do the next time? So really what you want to look at is why is your circulatory system, why is the blood not moving through the circulatory system correctly, why is it pooling up, and what's wrong with the connective tissue? Now, chances are pretty good you've got some blood sugar problems, correct? Are you diabetic or been diagnosed? No, no, or, I'm, 
not diabetic at all. Unless, well, you don't know that. You only know right. what the doctor told you, and he only knows what the numbers say. Uh -huh. So if you, ha if you have a circulatory problem, and if you're, say, over the age of 40 or 50, it's almost impossible not to have it, for it not to be related to blood sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what causes the blood to become clotted, stuff getting in, whether it's toxicity through the gut or whether it's sugar or whether it's a lack of oxygen. So you've got to start working on the circulatory system. Now, whether you need the surgery or not, I can't tell you the answer to that, but I can tell you that you absolutely want to start improving blood circulation, and I would also be doing things to strengthen the connective tissue. Now, I'm guessing you're probably, you don't have to tell me how old you are, but I'm guessing you're in your 50s or 60s, so you probably have other things going on as well. And the reason this is important is because all of these are, are, are uh, going to be criteria for you, measurements that you can use to see whether you're getting better or worse. So if you have a digestive health issue, or if you've got wrinkles, or you've got skin problems, all of these are markers for how well you're doing once you start on your program, once you start on your nutritional program, for example, and exercise program, because exercise is also very important. So let me give you some ideas here, okay? Yes, sir. First of all, you want to be improving your circulation, and the best way to do that quickly is to start doing something that, cause, that, that, that forces your blood to move, that is exercise, moving your body. I'm not talking about a walk around the block either. I'm talking about something that's a little bit past your comfort zone. A little bit intense. You know what I mean when I'm saying that, Melba? Uh, okay, so push, yes. pushing yourself a little bit. This is a walk around the block is great. You know, I hear people say, well, I walk the dog every day. That's wonderful. Uh -huh. But you got to push yourself a little bit. And so that means getting on a treadmill for two minutes. That's all it takes. Two minutes or even one minute. 60 seconds sprint on a treadmill is plenty. Mm -hmm. Once a day or, or once every couple of days. Making sure you're oxygenating correctly is also going to be very important. That means deep breathing strategies. Uh, and then thirdly, uh, reducing the input of toxins into the circulatory system through the digestive tract. That means calorie restriction. That means avoiding any foods that cause constipation. And by the way, constipation will make varicose veins much worse. Pushing will make varicose, ve varicose veins worse. Yeah, don't so any have that problem. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. So you're good, you're good that way. But making sure that anything that causes any digestive distress is eliminated. Mm -hmm. Then there are nutrients that will help thin the blood a little bit. The vitamin E, of course, is very important. Vitamin E is so important for thinning the blood the doctors will tell you not to take it before surgery. That alone will tell you how powerful vitamin E is. As a blood thinner, I'd be using 400 international units of vitamin E a day. Make sure you're using your omega-3 fatty acids. That also has a blood thinning effect. Uh, you're, you'll get those in your, in your ultimate EFAs. And then also connective tissue building strategies. Interestingly, anything that helps you build connective tissue will also improve the movement of blood through the circulatory system. That means your glucogel caps are not just important for building building connective tissue in the veins and the arteries and the circulatory system, but they're also, the glucogel caps are also, uh, glucosamine anyway, is also a blood thinning nutrient or blood thinning supplement, I should say. So using glucosamine, using cartilage containing products, bone soup, and you can get straight cartilage supplements using components of cartilage like high aluronic acid supplements, maybe 100 milligrams a day of high aluronic acid. Gelatin itself can be helpful. You'll get that in the glucogel caps, but you might want to consider taking a little extra gelatin. And then last but not least, when the body is stressed, the blood vessels will contract, so you uh, will get tighter. So you want to make sure that you're practicing nice relaxation strategies, relaxation techniques. Your deep breathing will help, but also things like hot water, hot showers, mental strategies, visualization, anything you could do to relax the body. So varicose veins, consider that to be a blood issue, a circulatory issue, as well as a connective tissue problem. All right, Melba, I'm going to motivate here, my dear. Thank you for okay, calling. Well, thank you so much. Thank right. you so much. And like I said, I just am concerned because it's not healing. It's been so many weeks and weeks. That tells, tells me there's, that tells me there's other stuff going on, and that's why all of the things I talked to you about, the, yes. the blood sugar, the digestive system, and the relaxation, as well as the nutritional supplements are all important. Thanks, Melba. Thank Have a beautiful thank day. You. Thank Take you very care. much, Ben. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. All right, let's go to Minnesota and say good morning to Ron. What's up, Ron? How you doing, man? How you doing? What's going on today? Great program. Well, I'd like to just compliment you on all your your, your knowledge, and I wish everybody. It's kind of a big thing, but everybody Thank in the you. world would hear your stuff. There Thank you. Less old rage and more calm and uh, relaxed, I healthy people. I appreciate that, Ron. Thank you so much. Okay. What's going on yeah, today? How can I help you? I got a question. Um, I train high school athletes in okay. all you know all across the the board. They're different. Um, but what would be the best thing from the gain weight? I, I try to, well, I got them a vitamin, 
I like to have them take vitamin C, but some of them, you know, they're, they're some of them are lower income, so I tell them to take an orange after they work out. What, what do you? Yeah, there's lots of good stuff that you can do to gain weight. That's an interesting problem. I wish I had that problem personally. I know I hear that periodically. People can't gain weight. Uh, the the most. What do you do, by the way? Are you a coach? Yeah, yeah. I've been a health coach or personal trainer since uh, since 1977. I'm nice. learning the health coaching and nutrition type things, and I use a lot of your knowledge if you don't mind. Awesome, but, awesome. No, yeah. no, that's, 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 why, that's why I do it. All right, so here's the thing when you're trying to gain weight, and it's not just for Ron, it's anybody out there who's having problems gaining weight. You don't want to gain fat. It's not weight that you want to gain. It's lean muscle mass that people want to gain. Nobody wants to gain fat. You don't want to be a blob. You want to gain muscle mass. So what you're looking at is somehow giving the body the, or, or, or teaching or telling the body that it needs to build. And the best way to do that is resistance training plus raw materials. So when you go in the gym, it doesn't, you don't have to go to the gym, but when you do your resistance training, right after that, you got to give the body the raw materials it needs to build. Resistance training causes a trauma to the muscles, and then the muscles respond by growing. So it's this combination of resistance training plus nutrition. So gym, weights, for kids, just get them in the weight room. And then also uh, when, they come, when they're done with their weights, make sure they're getting enough protein, make sure they're getting enough B vitamins, and make sure they're using things like uh, especially creatine. I don't know if you've explored creatine, but it's an awesome yeah. supplement for helping, for helping build muscle. Creatine is one of the all-time underappreciated supplements, by the way, for the skin, for the heart, for uh, elderly folks, for anybody fragile, and also, of course, for athletes who are trying to gain weight or trying to gain muscle, I should say. So uh, resistance training with rest because the body recovers during the rest period, not during the workout period. So the rest period is very important. It's a combination of resistance training plus rest and then coming home after the gym, after you're working out and doing your nutritional supplements, especially whey protein. Now, if you can't do whey, if you can't do whey, then, then soy might help you. Interestingly, soy does have some building amino acids in it. A lot of people don't, you know, try to stay away from soy and understandably so, but for, uh, if you're trying to lift weights, but you can't do whey, but you can do soy, you might want to consider soy. If you don't want to do soy or you can't do soy, then hemp seed protein is probably the third best. But I, I would be doing whey. Also, of course, eggs, uh, fish, meat, high protein foods are also important. But coming home and doing a whey protein smoothie with eggs, with creatine, dump some oil, some uh, uh, Udo's blend, essential fatty acid oil in your smoothie, maybe some lecithin to make it nice and creamy. If you want to add a little bit of taste to it, throw in uh, some of the amino acid glycine which has a sweet taste and also a couple of dry a couple of a frozen organic cherries will make it nice and cold and will cool the smoothie down and give it a nice flavor I throw a little vanilla in my smoothie as well you can also use bone broth protein in addition to whey protein or combine bone broth protein with your whey protein I've got bone bro, uh, bone broth protein at brightsidehealth.com all right that's all the time we have for anything else did, did you want to ask me anything else question yeah i heard i was training this guy years ago and, and um he uh, he said he gave there was hormones in the speed of the chicken so they were hot their legs were being broken out from underneath them they get so big is there any bone broth um hormone free no yeah, yes that? absolutely but uh, mine is my bone broth protein is hormone free absolutely thanks ron i gotta motivate buddy thanks for your call all right take care man god bless you all right that's all the time we have for today on the bright side thanks for listening please check out my website's brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products and truthtreatments.com for our truth treatments truthtreatments.com I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.